Okay, let's go ahead and upload our dinosaurs, SVG. And it's a large object, so just give it a few seconds to load. And upload it, and we're going to add it to the canvas. Now, a few th things about this, it comes in group. Let's go ahead and ungroup it, and I'm going to grab this gray one off. That's the sticker sheet. This other one right here is meant to be a foldable valentine that you can then put the sticker inside of and give it away so that um, the kids have a sticker. These, um, This writing on here is you know, optional, and this I'm stuck on you valentine actually would go on the back side of this cardstock right here. So um, I would ungroup it and take that off because that is not going to print correctly. We would have to turn this upside down, which is fine, and then do the print and cut and use your um, marker to, to print on that. Um, and then these would be okay. You'll fold that over. This would be the back of your Valentine. That would be the front of your Valentine, and that would work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup this as well because this was grouped on and we have changed that to a um, score line so that we can use our score tool to um, make that fold in that. All right, so then um, what else do we have to do? Let's see, these are meant to be print on the nine point for two five by six point seven five print and cut um, so you could make little valentines out of it this would print and this would cut and we would have to flatten that so you select all four of those and flatten there's one extra one here um, you can make copies of these and add this one but this one is a loner by itself so I would just flatten that one as well so that it's already done the stickers, we're going to ungroup it and then we're going to take the gray sheet and we don't need that. That was just to give you an idea of where to put the dinosaurs to cut. Just hide that and then go ahead and grab all of your dinosaurs and group those together as well as flatten. Okay, before we go any further, we have to turn these into draw. So we're going to go up to here and we're going to change it to draw and pen. Okay, and then we can go ahead and attach them. And I do want to know, I do want to point out that these score lines can be made a little bit shorter because however long your score line is, um, is going to affect how it lays out on the mat. So you, you could move them and make them a little bit shorter separately. Okay, and then go ahead and go to make it. Okay, I'm cutting these on an eight and a half by 11, so this will fit just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And I'm using medium cardstock, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to use the more pressure. Go over to make it. Okay, and then you can see it's print and cut. It's ready to go, 8.5 by 11 letter size, but it's going to print this black line around there for the registration marks, and we'll go ahead and continue. And we're going to need to send it to the printer first. Okay, so when it comes up, you're going to pick your printer. We do not need the bleed. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to use the system dialog, and then I'm going to go to print, and that should bring up my computers um, right here for my printer, and then you can make additional selections here um, for preferences and things like that, so you see what you have available here. Um, as far as using your color and then anything else that you need to change. Head and print. And that automatically takes you into the point where it's ready to now to cut and you would select 
what you cut it on. So um, I did mine on medium cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and hit my more pressure just to make sure it comes out really well. And flatten. And then go ahead and go to make it. Okay, so now you want to go ahead, after it's printed, you want to go ahead and pick your material. And I'm going to search for sticker. Now just depending on what, um, where you buy your sticker paper from or whatever is what you're probably going to want to use. Um, I'm going to use sticker paper removable. And I'm going to leave the pressure at default and then go ahead and feed my machine. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and cut another set with the printable sticker paper white just to show you the difference of what happens. Okay, for the mermaids, you're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and upload them and bring them into your canvas. They're already grouped. You can go ahead and just grab them all and flatten them. And then that will make them print and cuts. And then you can do the same thing as you did with the dinosaurs. Make them into stickers or put the cards behind them to make them um, um, print and cut on cardstock and make valentines, etc. Follow the same instructions as the dinosaurs and you'll be good to go. Okay, with the cut on the white sticker paper, see it cuts through, so the sticker is um, detached from the paper, which is fine. And then the first one that we did that was removable, it stays on the sticker paper and you have to physically remove it from the paper, it doesn't cut through. So those are the difference between the two different types of stickers that you're, if you're cutting through or, or leaving it on the page. So like if you were doing calendar stickers, you would probably leave them on the page and then just peel them off when you need them. But for this purpose, we would probably want to use the white or the clear and they'll cut through so that you can now have a backing on your sticker that you can um, then give to people. So this, this sticker is complete with a backing and let me see if I can get it off of here. My mat's pretty sticky. There we go. So now you can see it has the front and the back and you can stick this on or give this to somebody. So I had, um, I cut these out here just to make regular card stock. I also just cut around them just by hand. So if you want to do a PDF and cut them up by hand, you can also cut out the little cards. If you put your to and from and all that, they make cute little Valentines like we did with this guy. Okay, and then I did the stickers that you can remove that have the sticker backing. And then we have the stickers that are on the sheet. So like if you wanted to give somebody a full sheet of stickers, you could do that and they peel off of the backing here. So you have a full sheet of stickers. And then we made these little cards that you can also put together. And I'm going to go ahead and glue them together for time's sake, I'm just going to use some double-sided tape that I have because you just need a little bit on each side here. So I'm just putting a little bit on each side. Of course, you can just glue those, glue those ends as well. And then what you have is you have your little dinosaur sticker that you can stick inside and then they can give them as gifts um, and the, you write your to and from on name on the back.